there is filth in the universe, so it must be time for Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> Welcome back, I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're taking a look at the Warhammer 40,000 Special Pack. We're going to take a look at what I believe is meant to be the uh, last of these levels. A Space Marine Thunderhawk. Magos Pertinax Pius. Forged Temple, Ring of Iron, Mars. Chant of the Exalted Crusader initiated. Urgent. Engine Seer, Heroic Thunderhawk Gunship, the Adeptus Astartes, Chapter Designation Blood Angels, has returned from the assault upon withheld strategic Ace Demare B7A5, de requiring your complete attention. Communications confirm that the restricted artifact H-Class is on board, and the venerable Archmagos, identity declassification level X563, is on standby to, to assess its viability. You know, it suddenly occurs to me that this guy is really casual about throwing around terms I do not have clearance to know. <laughs> he just does it a lot, man. Does he just assume everyone has the same clearance as him? Um, yes, continuing... Objective. The gunship's exterior is befouled by noxious contaminants from the redacted heretical. Extensive sanctification must occur before the vehicle is approached by the Archmagos. Oh, so I gotta do this so we can even come in. Okay. Uh, data recordings taken from deployments at the assault will be relayed during your rites of cleansing. By the will of the omni Saya, the tides of war may soon be turning in our favor. Oh boy. Here we fucking go. Okay, I guess the uh, central platform was bigger than I thought. God damn, this thing is huge. Oh my god. I mean, it has to be. It's a dropship for fucking space marines, and they're like ten feet tall and weigh of... Actually, I have no idea how much they weigh in their armor, but it's a lot! What do we got here? Redacted residue, crystals, grime... Ugh. Oh, it's got texture! The grime is green and sticking out of the wall. This is definitely Nurgle's doing. It's gotta be that same battle that the other stuff got all fucked up in. Huh. It's unusually thick over this Blood Angel's emblem. That's weird. It's almost like they did it on purpose. Oh, see, this one's uh, left alone almost. I can actually make it out. Blood drop with wings and the term Blood Angel's beneath it. Nice and straightforward. I believe those were Sanguinius's boys. The angel who was named after blood. And I say angel because the man literally had wings, so we're clear. Oh, that is the. Yes, okay. What is that? Hellstrike missile. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Underside vent. That is a big fucking vent. I feel like that one would probably look like that even if it were, you know, if it hadn't taken a single scratch of damage. It would just be all burnt up in there. How the fuck do I even get on top? Oh, of course, the scaffolding. It's really big. It's probably the this. How, how did they get this in here? I've just suddenly had the thought. Does this whole wall open out like a door? The ceiling doesn't look like it opens up. Even though that makes the most sense for a fucking plane. One, two, three, four, five. My scaffolding is getting taller. I should really, you know, tell someone about that. It could be the great enemy. Watch it turn out that Zinch is personally changing my scaffolding to be higher and higher to see if I notice. He's the changer of ways, after all. I think even his appearance uh, fluctuates constantly. Jesus Christ. Ah! Stupid mechanical body. Oh, fuck me. I'm on top of the highest level of the scaffolding, and I'm at level with this upper vertical stabilizer in the back. Hooah! 
Okay, wow. Oh, that's a big fucking gun. The Turbo Laser Destructor. <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, the name sounds like something I would have come up with when I was nine. You know, fire the Mega Bazooka! But, uh... I love that nose chapter emblem. Oh. I don't know much of all, at all about the uh, the Blood Angels. I didn't recognize this uh, goblet symbol. But, you know, there's a lot of symbology with all of the chapters, so I'm not that worried. I don't think they ever did the multiverse stuff in uh, 40k, so I don't have to worry about it being the wrong universe's Blood Angels, for example. I mean, let's be honest, if there was a multiverse in 40k, the 40k universe would kill all of the other ones. Oh, Christ. I should probably get started, but before I do that, now that I've given this a whole once-around... Technically, this chant is meant to be, uh, read at the consecration of a new machine. But it was the most impressive one I could find, and that seems appropriate for something this enormous. <clears throat> oh, great vessel of honor, may your servo motors be guarded against malfunction, as your spirit is guarded from impurity. We beseech the machine god to watch over you. Let flow the sacred oils, and let not the sorrows of the seven perplexities trouble thine pistons. Let flow the blessed unguents, and may thine circuitry remain divinely blessed. Amen. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh yes, and shout out to the Play Play sixty four who says, "I'm marking this for heresy. The only power washer fit for forty k is a melta gun. Purify it with the Emperor's gift." <laughs> and shout out to Rush Gamma who suggested that the knight was fighting demons of Nurgle to get that disgusting. Oh yes, and this wasn't actually on one of the forty k videos. This was left on one of the. Uh, earlier videos in this playlist when I was working on the playground, and, uh... <laughs> shout out to Torek00, who says, I am watching a YouTube series where a player is cleaning a playground, eagerly looking forward to the later episodes of the Armored Personnel Carrier. I just want to take a moment to appreciate that sentence. <laughs> okay, this job isn't going to get any smaller just from me staring at it in horror, so I might as well start working on this rear landing foot. Oh, boy. <laughs> Barely touched it. Blood Angels Thunderhawk pilot. Data recording. Battle of withheld strategic ace to mare B-785. I barely touched anything. <laughs> Approaching rendezvous point. It should probably sound British if it's really 40k, because for some reason everyone sounds... Oh! Visual confirmation of Knight Paladin. Engage with redacted heretical... Oh, it's a light. The Knight is bringing honor to House Hawk Shroud. Seems like the sort of thing they'd say over the radio, sure. In this universe, fuck yeah, it does. That wasn't sarcasm. Redacted heretical. Moving reserves away from protection of the res restricted artifact age class to engage! So the enemy is pulling defenses off of the thing in order to... oh. Diversion complete. Preparing to drop Redemptor Dreadnought B Brother Zakiel in our brother battles behind enemy lines. So, this one operation... I mean, obviously, you know, the, the, the Space Marines and the uh, Imperial Guard work together all the fucking time, but, uh... It just strikes me as a little... It's slightly more rare that it's, uh... An Imperial Guard detachment, uh, the Ultramarines and the Blood Angels, and, uh, an Imperial... At least one Imperial Knight from House Hawkshroud. That's a lot of firepower.
stupid? What is this? Oh, great, it's the central engine. I was about to say, why couldn't this be out of somewhere else? And, well, fuck. Oh, it does look crystalline. It's, but it's like, if you look really closely at frost on a window. Missed a spot. I wonder how they got started with all this crossover stuff in this game. It's like, who woke up one day and said, You know what Power Wash Simulator needs? <laughs> Some brand tie-ins with Tomb Raider. I think that was where it started. Oh, fucking candles. Why do they spell... Well, I mean, a a estimare isn't really a word that I know of, but why do they put an A on the front? And should I be pronouncing it estimare? Is that a silent A? Actually, now that I think about it, the way that uh, 40k spells demon has a silent A in it, so maybe... things here kind of look like feet. This is legs. Like there's just a man standing up halfway inside the, uh, the plane. Oh, there's the problem with the landing gear. There's a frozen man in here. Hmm, this man's been dead for months. He must have been stolen from a grave. <sighs> Turns out they've been watching Con Air and following it uh, religiously. Because it's an artifact of the old world. Better send out the uh, Inquisition. Oh boy. But it's not so bad for nooks and crannies so far, because, you know, it's really fucking big, but... It does have a lot of detailing that kind of, kind of worries me. I will say this about it, it's... You know, the awkwardness from this one is how fucking big it is. I'm gonna need to get on top and stuff. Do I even have my ladder? Would that even do it here? I have three ladders here. Wow. That has never happened before in this game. That's a lot of spots I can put it, too. Okay, I'll put this one here. I shouldn't have. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll use the other ones to get up here and further up, but I suppose I should probably leave that one, since, again, they might get in the way. I'm kind of curious. See, even when it's perfectly clean, it's, uh... Still gray underneath. Fucking vents. Way better already, jeez. on the D-pad to do that. I know that. Oh, uh, shout out to Derek Floyd, who says, The redacted tech that Tyros talks about sounds like the throne mechanicum, the system that links the pilot with the machine. Uh, you know, in the nights, I mean. In any other setting, the neural interface would be cool sci-fi tech, but because we're in 40k, there have to be grimdark side effects. The throne's operators leave a mental imprint on the machine spirit, so the pilot will have to prove to these echoes of his predecessors that he's strong enough mentally to control the night and worthy to carry on their legacy. Success means the new pilot is forever changed, loyalty to the nighthouse and its ideals burned into their mind. Failure means their mind is just burned. 
And I like, I you know, it's not like a, a reply or anything, but I do want to follow it up with this short comment from Justin Jones, who simply says, yeah, being a pilot of an Imperial Knight would kind of suck. Oh, and there are Chaos Knights. <laughs> oh, God. I hope it doesn't work the same way, because I don't like the, uh, the sound of, uh, hooking your mind up to the echoes of, like, a thousand screaming lunatics. this time. really just occurred to me for the first time how fucking big these candles are as, you know, I'm lying down on my stomach, and I'm... I'm I've gotta be, I don't know what, taller. I'm definitely bulkier than a normal human as a uh, tech priest, but this candle's taller than I am when I'm lying down. And it's like, oh, it's like two and a half feet tall there. Taller than that. I can't go to a third-person view to check. thick layer of gunk at the bottom of it. Oh, I'm sorry, grime and salt deposits. Go around to the other side. I didn't forget. Hey, I got the foot! Finally got a ding. And we are 1% cleaned. May the Omnisaya have mercy on our souls. What is that? That is nothing. That is a part of the main wing. It doesn't identify that as a different piece. Can I clean off this burned part? Yes. Well, I just wanted to check. Okay, uh, I suppose I'll move on to the next foot. Do all that again. Funny how this one's totally covered in gunk, and yet it's still glowing. You can see the light in front of it, but you can't see the light on the bulb. I guess they're telling me that... What was that sound effect? It sounded like someone's getting slapped. I guess they're telling me that that big battle they were alluding to already happened, and this is the ship returning with the mysterious artifact on board. Hey, let's keep all those doors closed. Just a thought. Ugh. Redacted residue. Maybe redacted residue is blood. Or, you know, people. In fact, it is red as I look at it. Those are the parts with redacted residue, not uh, the other parts. Huh. Well, they wouldn't have a problem saying blood. It's not like the Imperium shies away from the fact that it kills people. It just insists that those are the people that deserve to die. just realized I have no idea. I've just been sort of assuming it's hot water, but I realize I have no idea whether the temperature of the water would actually make any difference at all at this high pressure. Like, you're really doing this for the impact, is what I understand. Like, 
you're basically sandblasting it for stuff that you don't want sprayed with sand. What's what's be fair is most things. I was trying to think of other franchises where you could use like this setup or you know rather than taking part in the actual main idea of the setting you're just cleaning up the mess after it I think the one I thought of that works best is probably Ghostbusters so like, oh, here's that hotel lobby and it's full of fucking slime you need to get that shit cleaned up You know, you're like cleaning up their uh, their containment room after the first movie when they let all the ghosts out. And, oh shit, now the entire room is coated floor to ceiling in ectoplasm. Can't have that. Again, like I noted somewhere else, I don't even know if it was in the 40k stuff, that I would probably want to start at the top in real life, because the water would run down and loosen the dirt below. Not to mention the fact that if I started at the bottom and moved up, the runny, you know, goo water would just wash back over the parts I had already cleaned. Episode. Getting both of these feet would be a nice start. Honestly, this I was expecting it to be big. This is even bigger than I was expecting. Clearly Dawn of War played down how big those vehicles are. Which makes me wonder if the Bane Blade is actually like the size of a shopping mall or some crazy shit. Oh, there we go. That would be an F fun DLC, like extra level or whatever. The fucking Bane Blade. Oh, this is neat. Huh, you can actually get directly under it because it is a uh, trench here. I like that. Oh, my goodness, I forgot. Before I call this episode an episode, there is one thing I need to do. Scratch my nose, other than that. Uh, hey, this looks like a good spot for it. <laughs> Just trying to keep one in each thing, but then I failed at that, so whatever. Arse! What's that? Salt deposits. And 
upper vertical stabilizer tip light. Man. I can see my house from here. I think I made that joke already. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Brother Power Wash has quite the cleansing ritual ahead of him. But by God, if anyone can do it, it's him. You've come to the right place. Okay. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you next time on Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. Now that the Thunderhawk has a couple of legs to stand on, we've got a nice foundation to build off of. Till next time, have yourselves a great day, and serve the Omnisaya in all things. Later.